Are kombucha drinks healthy for you? I'm going to answer this question, but not in a medical way. There are plenty of videos online that can give you all the nutrition facts, and I recommend you watch a few. Dr. Josh Axe is my favorite. But I'm going to give you a testimonial of what it's done for me personally. I am 52 years old. I first started drinking kombucha 24-ish years ago when it was introduced to me by a friend, a very persuasive friend, who was making it, and she said, you need to try this, and I said, no, I don't, <laughs> when I saw how it was made. But she convinced me, and I tried it. And I've been hooked ever since. I first began drinking GTs, which is a very popular kombucha, possibly the most popular, and it was probably one of the first commercially available ones. First one to go big, anyways. And I have been drinking it ever since. I have spent close to $40,000, I've done the math, on kombuchas because I don't make it myself and I don't want to. I know I could save money, I understand all that. You, no need to comment on that, I get that. But I don't want to make it myself because I love trying all the ones that exist. If you check out the rest of my videos, you'll see. <laughs> I've tried 80% of the kombuchas that exist, and the ones I haven't tried exist in different parts of the country or Canada or the world, right? And that's why I haven't tried them. But all up and down the West Coast, I've tried most of them, except for all the little locals. I don't stop here and everywhere and get all the little local ones, although I've had several of them. So I try kombuchas. It's a hobby. It's a thing. It's like people who like fine wine and fine cigars or fine beers. It's a thing with me and I love it. But I mainly want to give testimonial to what it does for my health. As mentioned, I'm 52. I have no significant health problems to think of, no medications. And what it does is it, it recalibrates my body. And I mean that sincerely. If I eat something unhealthy or if I'm not feeling well, I can drink a kombucha and it literally recalibrates my body. I don't know how it does it. A lot of people swear by it. This is why I think the ancient Chinese loved it so much. But it recalibrates, it rebalances my body. I suspect it has something to do with the pH. I'd have to check with Dr. Axe again and see if he confirms that. And it just rebalances my body as it gives me this warm glow and this feeling of well-being. And these are not exaggerations. This is why a lot of people swear by kombucha. Because it literally has this effect on your body. Okay? Now, a lot of people don't like kombucha, but much of that is due to the fact that there are good kombuchas. Let me rephrase that. There are Superb kombuchas, of which I'll give you examples. There are good kombuchas, there are so-so kombuchas, and there are bad kombuchas. Literally, if you watch the rest of my videos, you'll see. It's no joke. And a lot of people who don't like them, they've gotten either bad kombuchas, so-so kombuchas, or possibly one of the flavors that weren't so good, even on a good one. But they probably haven't had the superb kombuchas, which I only put three in the superb category. That would be... GTs, they're always superb. They just are. Soma, which has way more probiotics than even GTs and whose flavors are outstanding. Their quality is top notch. And Buddha's Brew from Austin, Texas. These three are my superb ultimate favorite kombuchas because their quality is off the charts, their effect is off the charts, and their taste is also off the charts as well. And that's how I basically rate my kombuchas on those three things. Effect, quality, I read the ingredients on every one, and, uh, and taste comes last. But I'm more into it for effect because, as I stated, I'm 52, I have no significant health problems. People mistake me for being in my 40s, sometimes even late 30s. <laughs> but, and again, I, I have a healthy lifestyle, but... So I can't contribute at all to kombucha, but I do contribute a large part of it to kombucha. And when I have it, it 
creates that feeling of well-being, that glow. It's almost, it's sort of akin to having a shot of alcohol, but it's pure. It only has 0.5% alcohol, unless you get an alcoholic one. But the ones without alcohol make me feel better than the ones with alcohol. (laughs) Unless I want to... Unless I want the effect of drinking alcohol, which is hardly ever. So, it creates this glow, this warmth. It rebalances and recalibrates your body. If you eat something unhealthy, it settles your body. It's just all around good, which is why I think it's becoming so popular. And why the ancient Chinese loved it. Why so many people and cultures have valued it over the years and are revaluing it today. So, I have a few examples here. These are not necessarily my favorites. It's just a few I have on hand because I've had them lately. This is Alive and Well from Texas. They were very good. This is Nova from Southern California. They're in the good category, but not the superb category. Element was in the... Sorry... Element was in the very good category. Not quite superb. I have one here from Live. This is actually made by a soda company, but it's kombucha. It's very good. And these are not necessarily my favorites. It's just a few examples I had on hand. But there are hundreds of flavors. There are probably hundreds of different brands. But there are hundreds and hundreds of different flavors within those brands. And... You can try them all. As I said, GT's, Buddha's Brew, Soma are the absolute best. Below that, there's tons. I need to give honorable mention to Lionheart. Uh, Lionheart is very, very good. Their herbal blends are fantastic. Iggy's herbal blends are fantastic. They're a Northwest favorite. But below all these, there's a hundred other really, really good kombuchas, such as Kombucha Town, Holy Kombucha, Brew Doctor, uh, Happy Mountain, Whale Bird from Southern California. There, the list goes on and on and on. There's just tons. Check the rest of my videos and you'll see. So, barring medical advice from your doctor, I really recommend you adopt Kombucha. Either make it yourself or buy it like I do you'll save a lot of money if you do it yourself as a part of your healthy regimen and again I'm not going to give you all the nutritional facts there are plenty of people who do that I wanted to give you personal testimony of the fact that for the past 24 years at least I've been drinking kombucha regularly and it has extremely helped helped my health extremely (laughs) I would not give it up for anything. I love it. It's it's good, great stuff. I would definitely recommend it. And again, get those good ones if you can. And check out the rest of my videos. You can see which ones are my favorites and which ones are the good ones. And which ones to avoid. Because as we know in life, the ones that sell the most are not necessarily the highest quality ones. Because marketing sells more things than quality. So, check out the rest of my videos. I hope this helps. Kombucha Corral, signing off.